cocaine is a substance of plant origin that is obtained from the coca plant after a series of processes. Cocaine is a psychotropic substance that acts as a stimulant and excitement of the central nervous system and capable of inducing physical and psychological dependence. But what are its short and long-term effects on the brain? Let's go see them. The effects of cocaine occur almost immediately and generally disappear within one hour and depend on the mode of intake, the person's tolerance, and the purity of the cocaine. Cocaine is a stimulant drug, so most users become more talkative and confident after taking cocaine. He initially feels happy and full of energy, decreases appetite, and has difficulty sleeping. After taking cocaine, the pupils dilate, blood vessels narrow, heart rate, blood pressure, and body temperature increase. This happens because the levels of dopamine in the brain increase, a neurotransmitter that influences mood and the feeling of pleasure, gratification, and motivation, as well as controlling memory, attention, and regulating sleep. In the last video, which you can find by clicking above, we saw how cocaine works on the brain. Cocaine is a powerful vasoconstrictor, meaning it decreases the diameter of the blood vessel through which blood flows. Once the effect of the cocaine is over, the effects wear off and the user can feel tired, sad, paranoid, and completely out of energy, even for several days. Thus arises a strong desire to take cocaine again to try to feel better, which pushes the user into the drug tunnel, a vicious circle that is very difficult to break. People who consume high doses of cocaine can be killed by acute myocardial infarction, stroke or respiratory blockage, due to muscle paralysis caused by the effect of cocaine on the sodium channels of the heart. Many cocaine users tend to become anxious, aggressive and violent. Some studies have suggested that paranoid thinking and the need to get money for cocaine can lead to violent criminal behavior on the part of consumers. They range from minor psychological assaults to serious physical activities, such as murder and rape. A possible explanation could be that cocaine acts in those areas of the brain, such as the limbic system, that support aggressive and violent behaviors. Consumers can even commit suicide, driven by the depression caused by the frequent use of cocaine. Long-Term Effects Cocaine decreases brain function, causing cognitive, emotional, and behavioral changes. It can damage the orbitofrontal cortex, which is the part of the brain associated with decision-making. It will therefore be more difficult to make rational decisions. The prefrontal cortex is also affected, that is the anterior part of the frontal lobe of the brain, that intervenes in the planning of complex cognitive behaviors, in the expression of personality, and in making decisions. Cocaine can also cause autophagy, meaning brain cells die, in response to the neurological stress and neuroticicity that occurs due to the use of cocaine. Autophagy is a normal cellular cleaning process that allows to replace the defective or damaged parts of a cell. Under the effect of cocaine, this process increases in an uncontrolled way and also causes very important elements of the cell to be destroyed, such as mitochondria, the energy plants of a cell. The result is cell death. People with a cocaine use disorder can lose significantly more gray matter at a faster rate than people who have never used drugs. Cocaine causes premature brain aging and increases the risk of developing dementia and memory problems. Prolonged use of cocaine affects mental health and creates a strong psychological dependence, which can manifest itself in severe withdrawal attacks. Personality traits change in a paranoid sense. There is the sensation of being in a hostile, suspicious environment, to the point of paranoid delirium. Cocaine induces visual hallucinations, called snow flares, and tactile hallucinations, known as cocaine bugs, which means that there is the perception of bed bugs crawling in the skin. Some addicts may go so far as to cut or open large portions of their skin in an attempt to stop the itching and remove these imaginary insects under the skin. The long-term health effects depend on the mode of intake and can be permanent. 
Snorting cocaine destroys the tissues of the nose and the nasal mucosa, in particular the cartilages, internal tissues, and capillaries of the nose. Cocaine causes blood vessels in the nasal lining to constrict, resulting in the death of these tissues. Frequent nosebleeds, ulcers, and infections can occur. If the consumption of cocaine continues, it can lead to the loss of smell, a perforation of the nasal septum or palatine bone, up to the collapse of the nose, which will necessarily require plastic surgery. If smoked, cocaine causes various injuries to the lungs and destroys the lung alveoli. The main symptoms include cough and asthma, pneumothorax, pulmonary edema and emphysema, and a higher risk of infections, such as pneumonia. In severe cases, respiratory failure occurs, pulmonary hemorrhage up to the development of tumors, due to the carcinogenic effect of cocaine smoke on the bronchial epithelium. When injected cocaine, exposes the user to a higher risk of contracting HIV, hepatitis C, and other bloodborne diseases, bacterial, and viral infections. The veins are damaged following repeated injections, leaving scars on the skin until it collapses. Both because of the substances contained in the administered preparation, and because of the bacteria that can contaminate the syringe. Mixing drugs is always risky, but some mixtures are more dangerous than others, for example. Alcohol and cocaine Once taken, they mix together in the body, and a toxic substance known as cacophylline is formed, which causes seizures and damages the liver, and can produce much more powerful effects than those produced by alcohol or cocaine when taken alone. The combination of cocaine and heroin is called speedball, and increases the risk of cardiorecolatory collapse and respiratory block. Brown Brown indicates a mix of cocaine and smokeless gunpowder. In this combination, nitroglycerin acts as a vasodilator, allowing for faster absorption of both substances into the bloodstream. This increases the risk of heart attack and stroke. 